Okay. Yep. So what do we have? Let's go to slide three. Just to synchronize between you and me. Yep. Are you typing already or what? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Just like maybe two or three more questions. Sure. I think now you are quite uh, uh, pretty familiar with the uh, Google uh, Meet and Google Jam board already. Are you typing something? Okay, sure, sure. Sure, sure, okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you give me a big pause at the start of the lesson. <laughs> it's supposed to be a warm up question and you give me a big pause. <coughs> yeah. But okay, good. Okay, let's see. And by the way, let me be honest with you. Um, Never assume that I can solve all questions. Okay. Okay. Never assume that. Okay. So sometimes some questions are, it takes time. But okay, I will try my best. Okay. Um, I think there is one thing you learn from us teachers. It's not that uh, we are perfect. We can solve all questions. No. You need to learn from us the, our, our way of doing things. Uh, the approach, the logical approach to uh, questions. All right. Uh, our way of uh, analysis so those are the things you need to learn from us okay okay good uh, why don't you try it first mm. so we have learned six rules right two two are related to the center of the circle two are related to the uh, angles on the circumference then uh, the two the fifth and the sixth the sixth is Pretty straightforward tangent to the ra radius. Then uh, the fifth one is the tangent god theorem. Okay, so yeah. Mm. Let's work on it together then. C A B C B O. C B O. No. So. So this is equal to this because bisector, angle bisector, because it says BD bisect. Hmm. 
Mm, like I say, right, it's always a good practice that you use a highlighter. You highlight the, 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 the things you can see. So my approach is, my first thing I will do is I will just highlight this. Okay, so I, I can use the uh, angles in the same segment, right? That will give me what? That will give me 18. Yeah, and this is 18 as well. Right? Mm. That's uh, how you can start this question. Okay. And this is 90. And this is 90 as well. Right? Then uh, I think you can find this 180 minus the 18 minus the 18 minus the 90. That will give you that angle. Can you help me out using your calculator? Mm. Mm, so I think you can use the tangent chord theorem. So if you look at this, so you know that this one is definitely, so you know this one is definitely not equal, right? I'm talking about this uh, triangle. I'm talking about the tangent chord theorem. Okay. So this one is definitely not equal, and then the f like you go anti eh, clockwise or anti clockwise. Anti clockwise, right? The first is not equal. The second one is equal. Okay, so this is fifty four. Okay, this is fifty four. Does it make sense? Mm. Uh, well, what to say? Stating the circle property as you use them prove that the EBO, EBO, what's EBO? That's the first question. E, E, B, O, where's O? They lie what? On the circumference, circumference of a circle, right? So meaning like if you go if you, if you, you go and create another circle, if you go ahead and create another circle, <coughs> you should they, this point should 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 lie in the circle. That's what they try to mean. Okay. Hmm. So in order to be uh on the circumference of the circle with three points, right? Then how? Is this is this the diameter? O B uh, O E yes. So if you can prove O E is the diameter, then O B is yeah. So is uh yep. I think you kind of can prove that because uh this is right angle right. So uh this is angle in a semicircle. Remember that. Uh, so therefore, uh, these uh, three points they have to be uh, they have to be uh, on the uh, circumference of the circle. Does it make sense? 
so basically you okay, yeah 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 but what i'm trying to tell you is uh you don't know which angle will help you to solve your question but it's good that you try to uh write down the angles that you can find out okay you try to you try to label the angles as much as possible okay so i think the reason is you just uh write down that um let me see ah so uh obe angle ob is 90 degree so uh uh and uh so therefore because of the angle in a uh, semicircle okay uh therefore obe so triangle obe is a is a is a uh right angle triangle right so therefore uh uh oe can be the the the, the diameter and uh, OEB is on the circumference of the circle. Does it make sense to you? Mm. Okay, so that's the, the first part one. CB is parallel to DO. Yes, CB, we use root comma. CB here, parallel to DO. So you need to prove that uh you need to prove uh some angles. So this one is uh thirty six. So if you can prove that this is hundred and uh, eighty minus thirty six, so hundred eighty minus thirty six is uh, one four four. If you can prove, that's one four four. Hmm. I I I can prove this is uh. 54 minus the 36 because this is eh? no this is 54 yeah sorry mm. oh I can I can get this as well because this is going to be uh, 54 plus uh, uh, 18 which is uh, 72 right so this one this whole thing this whole thing is 180 minus 72 which is because angles are opposite segment is 108 this is 108 so 108 one away, then this is eh? angle at center is two times angle at circumference, right? So can you get this one, the whole thing? So it's one oh eight times two. That's uh two one six. This whole thing is two one six. So is that is two one six? You three sixty minus the two one six? That will give you one four four. Done. So this is one four four. Can you get it? Yeah, okay, so the the black one here is uh one two one two six. Uh two one six, I'm sorry. So the, the, the blue one has to be one four four because three sixty minus it. Okay then, that's it. <coughs> Done. But it's pretty hard, huh? You get it? Yeah. Okay, but it's not easy, huh? Yeah, it's not easy. I agree with you. Okay. One more. You are not testing yourself, you are testing me. <laughs> because this is internal angle. Because this is 36. So this is 36. Is eighteen eighteen. This this one is thirty six. So this is one four four. So this is internal angle. So this has to be parallel. Mm. Okay, you're not testing yourself, huh? Yeah, you're testing me. Okay.
let's go to slide four let me erase it This one looks, oh, this is about congruency, right? Okay. But I think you can, you can manage this, can you? Maybe I'll give you some time, like five minutes. Yeah, I, I believe you can manage this. Are you working on it already? Okay, good. But I see nothing on the screen, eh? Whoa, crazy stuff. BC is a eight is a square. But I really sympathize with you, all your questions are so hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 90 minus FPC. How do you... Eh? Where's your FPC? Okay, both are FPC? Yeah, sure. Yes. So, in a way, they have a common... Yes. Correct. Nice. <clears throat> so, for congruency, you have SS. Side, side, side. Okay, let me choose another color. Side, side, side. A A S angle angle side S A S that's about it right yeah of course you have the right angle that that one but that one is is actually a derivation of one of these three
Yeah. So you need to which one you want to pick? The pro. Okay, please do that. Yep. So if you want to pick this, please go ahead. Yes. So by the way, it should be A, A, S. ABC, yeah. yeah. But I think you have this angle already, the red and red, and then you have the you have the ninety ninety right. You have the ninety ninety. So you just have to prove uh one more side. Yeah, this one. Because the same side. Because it's a, it's a square. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Yep. Good. Last one. A B F D is a square. Yeah, that's the only way you can uh, show it's a square. Right? But already proved that it's a congruent, right? Congruent means you already proved this is the same. This one and this one is the same. This side is the same already. Right? Because because congruent like this one is and this one is the same. Because mm. <coughs> Okay, so it's a rectangle, right? What's the property of a rectangle? A rectangle is opposite sides are equal. So this one is has to be equal to this. So therefore all are equal. Right? Does it make sense to you? Okay, good. Okay. Mm, good. So after this, let's move on to our assignment. Yeah. Do you have our assignment with you? Mm, okay, good. So uh, we go to uh, slide five. Okay, while you're uploading, let me go to the washroom. Quick one, okay. Mm. Just upload and uh, see.
Alright, I'm back. Oh, you give me a proof question, right? Yeah. Kind of like what quadratic equation in cotangent x, yeah. Hold on, I got a call. Let me just quickly answer this and get back to you, okay? Hello, so are you Okay. Alright. Uh you know this is the thing, you know. Um I wish you Okay. <laughs> I wish I wish you have my no, you cannot have my brain, okay? It takes a lot of time to have my brain. Because I have... My brain is more than mathematics, by the way. <laughs> okay? Okay. So, uh... I don't know how I can transfer my, uh... Uh... This mathematics knowledge to you. Okay. Cotangent. So, okay. Before we do this question, I think you need to uh, understand that uh, cotangent, I call it, is a, is a, uh, a composite uh, trigo. Meaning, uh, uh, then the sine, cosine, these two, uh, they are the basic trigo. Basic tri trigo means the simplest form. Okay? While cotangent, you can express as uh, tangent x, right? Cotangent x. You can express it as 1 over tangent x, and of course, you can continue to do it as cos cosine x over sine x. Make sense? So that's why I call it a composite trigo. And then only only these two, uh, sine and cosine, uh, they are basic trigo. That means it's the simplest, alright? At least for your level, okay? Then, uh, I need to put the do I have the let me let me go and search for the the formula sheet. You know, sometimes I get this kind of question and then I, I get stuck also without any context. Because I also need to search in my mathematics universe. Okay, which one I should uh, okay the, here it is. Uh I'm sorry, I think you have the image. Can you upload to upload the image to this uh slide nineteen? Because the the, the 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 formula is in uh, slide nineteen. Hmm. And by the way, what paper is that? Ah. Uh? Yep, I think it's the. Uh, did I? Did I give? Never mind. Yep, you just upload it first. Let's see. It's, it has been some time already. I forget already. Question four. Eh, you are doing okay. Homework two or homework three? Oh, you said two. Oh, okay. I thought you are so you are you are supposed to look at uh <laughs> three already. But never mind. Okay, four. With this beside you, so how? I see something. I see. I see this. Hmm, I see this. Um. I also cannot see anything. <laughs> It's a quadratic expression. You want to change it to uh, 1 minus. That means you want to change this to 1 minus sine squared. And then. Mm, what, what 
Ich muss mal hier. Here. If you if you open open the brackets. <coughs> so are you telling me this? But anyway, you don't have to see things at first because it doesn't make sense to see things at first. I don't think anybody can see things at first. Okay, so maybe I I, I shouldn't I shouldn't uh, change anything. I just get it into uh, individual element. Split, like kind of like partial fraction. Can you see it this way? Then after that, one one over this is what. One over this is uh, cosecant, right? Mm. Then this one is cosine, right? So this will give me what. Just now I just return this. Okay, then good. Then you have the two cotangent square x, right? Okay, I think I can get it already. But it's good that I can't see anything at first. Because if I can see something at first, I'm crazy. This is the one. Okay. So sometimes we need to acknowledge our vulnerability, you know? It doesn't mean that, oh, I have to see things at first. If I can see things at first, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, okay? <laughs> so, I, I'm proud of my sanity. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? So that's how you can get it into cotangent only, right? Uh, projective equation? Then very good so this will be your yeah this is your project equation right so you can simplify this you can add up which is 3 cotangent square x why i keep writing cosine and by the way uh, let me be honest with you uh, our lesson is recorded so that means i'm doing your question live okay I'm doing your question live. It's like you're testing me. I I write coastern. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, I'm doing your question live. Okay, I have no preparation. But so far so good. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Good, so this is a quadratic uh, expression of cotangent. Okay, so hence, uh, solve the equation. Wow, what is this? Is it hence? But they give me something else, right? So what what they have done, uh, What they have done, uh, I can't I can't see what they have done. Uh. That's the problem. Wait, let's open it up. Oh, you divide by sine x. On both sides. Okay. Then. The cross multiply. The sine square x. Cosine x. Sine x. 1 plus 2 cosine square x. 
¿Así me siento yo? Oh my god, that's a very good question though. So I should just open the bracket. Yeah, just open the bracket. Thank you. Good. So what 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 I need to do then? <coughs> can you write? It's okay. Can yeah? Can you write it out? <laughs> it's okay. We are we are doing this live. That's the that's the challenge. You know. It can be a challenge to your teacher as well, when you do things live. Like I say, I don't have to see things clearly at first. Really, you need to uh, work something out then. I think just now what you said. Or what about open it up first? Does it help? Then uh, what is this one plus? Okay, I see one plus. Let me see. You have the let's try to move everything one side. How how this is going to help? Was I? Mm. You are trying to say this? Maybe? I don't know. But well, I still don't see things. Can you see anything? No, yeah, I don't see anything. Um, Hosan Square is. Uh, we divide by. Can I divide by something? We divide by cosine. No, you cannot do that. Okay, so it doesn't work. How is this related to this? I'm just wondering. Okay, what's cosine square x? Cosine square x is 1 over secant x, right? Okay, I, I think I, I kind of like, um, um, I don't know. Okay, what? Well, okay, wait, 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 I know what, I know what. You know how to do this question? No, actually, we, we are actually looking at the question from the wrong direction, from, from, from a wrong direction. So, in fact, right, you need to figure out cotangent x first, you need to figure out x first. Uh, so, so, what I'm trying to say is you just figure out what is cotangent x, 3. So, let u, 
So u plus 1 equal to 0. So you figure out u first. Can you help me out? What's u? Is it 3u? No, right? You cannot get anything, right? Can you use the calculator and find out what's u? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, basically, uh, oh, there is a U, but this is not, uh, fact, I mean, this can't be factorized. It's not a good number. Yeah. Okay, mm. let me find out a time. Let's without doing the U. So, um, 1 plus, uh, let me get everything into a uh, sign. Hmm. Did, did I do this just now? I think so, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then minus two sign. So one plus two uh, final attempt. If not, just let me go go back and uh, explore. Okay. Okay. So far so good. So uh, one over cosecant, right? This one is given by the sine 2a. So sine 2x. Then give a half. Mm. So 3 minus 5, 1 plus cotangent squared. This is uh okay it's okay just let me just get this get for part two back and uh, deal with it <coughs> okay mm, good next this part I have to solve the equation they're not related I don't I, I don't I, at least I don't see they are related Ah, they are related, man. Okay, let me show you how they are related. Now I try to like uh, see it from another perspective already. We are very, very close. We have been uh, misled by certain things. 1 plus 2 cosine squared x minus sine x cosine x. 3 sine squared x, right? Then I have been misled. So you divide by a sine square x here. You divide by a sine square x here. So it's equal to 3. So therefore, your this whole thing is equal to 3. Can you see it now? Yeah, so you need to make it the same thing. So therefore now I think you can factorize this. Wow, I hate it. Minus 
minus 2, right? So now I think you can factorize. 3u squared minus u minus 2. Yep, so your u equals to a value. Okay, but don't be too harsh on yourself. You cannot solve this here. I think I can do it by uh, 3u, 1u, then 2u, minus 1u. Oh, no, no, sorry, minus 1. So that's the one. Okay. So u equals to uh, minus 3, th minus 2 third. u equals to 1. Yes. Okay. Then you just solve cotangent equals to this. Okay. Then of course... It's back to the normal solving uh, tangent something equals to something here. Okay? Alright. Okay. Very good exercise for my brain. And by the way, this is my... Two, three, four... This is my fifth lesson of the day. So my brain uh, don't work uh, so well. Okay. But this is not an excuse. I totally embrace it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go to slide twenty. And while you upload the another question, let me go and get some drink. Have you uploaded? Taking time. Slide 20. But you know, it's very, it's, it's going to be interesting. Maybe after 10 years, uh, I get to look back at uh, all these videos. I'm doing mathematics live with you. How, how funny can it? How funny? Yeah. How interesting this is going to be. Are you going to be okay, what do you want to be next time? Eh? Not sure. Okay. Okay. So hopefully I don't know, maybe you can be a teacher next time, then maybe you can look back at this video next time. Yeah. And then <laughs> you can see how uh, how it's going to be a challenge if you do uh, mathematics questions live. Oh, do you, okay, this question is from what, uh, uh, assignment 3 or 2? Okay, good. Do you know why I give you this question? Okay. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I want, I want to, uh, I want to, yeah, it's application of Trigo, yeah, but, um, Okay, oh, uh, at the same time, I want to test you on uh, integration and differentiation as well. And this part, I think, is differentiation. Okay, so I want to test you on something that uh, we have not talked about so far. So, hopefully, we are kind of like doing some revision. If you don't know this concept, then I should do more of this. So, I also want to know what you are good at, what you are not good at. So far, seems to me, uh, most of the question uh, I'm giving you, they are pretty tough for you, right? Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
how do you show the area of this uh, ABC is this <clears throat> wow this is the best answer for my student I'm not sure so you have to think yourself <laughs> I mean I have to think myself <laughs> okay contribute yes contribute this is 60 minus theta hey wait 90 minus theta right right and this one is uh, 180 minus that is uh, minus minus so this is 90 plus 90 plus theta right then what is this so which is uh, 60 minus theta right so what's so good mm. then uh, this is 200 right uh, to get the wait, to get the area right of the triangle ABC how do you get the area of triangle ABC so there is a formula is a half times the so basically let me just draw the triangle so this is my uh, A, this is my B, this is the angle, right? So it's a half times uh, A, B, sine, angle, right? One. That's one formula, right? The other one is uh, half times base times height, right? Mm. Okay, so can you get the base? Can you get the height? This is right? So what's the base? So Tokaso is uh, the base. So this is the angle. 60 theta minus uh, 60 degree minus theta, right? Mm, then uh, how do you get the base? The base is given by this is opposite. Then this hypotenuse so sine. 60 theta. I mean 60 minus theta. Opposite is your base. Hypotenuse 200. So in a way, base is equal to sine 60 minus theta. That's going to give you times 200, right? That's the base, right? How do you get the height? Uh, this is A, right? So it's cosine 60 minus theta. Uh, A over A, A over so is H. In this case, the H, uh, height. Uh. It, even though it looks like the base to you, but this is the height. Uh. Let me consider it as the height. So it's uh, uh, height, height over A over H. So it's H equals to, yeah, you can, you can, yeah. But uh, since I'm already doing this, so cosine uh, times 200, right? Okay, so it's a half, half times this, so half times this one times this one. So it's a uh, half times, uh, sine 60 minus theta times 200 times the because this is my base and uh, this is going to be my okay all right yep so this one will give you four this is your hitch so this will give four and four 40,000 1, 2, 4, 0 over 2 so you have sine 60 minus theta cosine 60 minus theta right okay then this will give you what this will give you this right can you open the bracket and what you end up with so 
you have to use the formula sine 60 cosine theta minus cosine 60 sine theta then uh, this is this then of course you have the times cosine 60 cosine theta if I can remember okay I cannot remember cosine minus is plus okay good so it's uh, plus sine 60 sine theta okay so this these are special angle sine 60 is yeah never mind just use your calculator sine 60 Yeah, never mind. You square it. This is something I learned from the relief teaching recently. You square this number. You square the long number. So sine 60. You're going to get our answer from your calculator, right? You square this thing. What do you get? Three quarter, right? So you square root this. So it's square root 3, 2. So that's the. That's how, yeah. So one of the student taught me this. I like it so much. Okay? Cosine 60. You see, even I'm. Uh, so for me, it's all about lifelong learning, okay? I never, uh, I never attempt to be the perfect teacher that who knows everything, right? If I see something nice, I learn from them. So I, I learn from this uh, cosine 60. Okay. Then. Okay, what do you have? Yeah, open the bracket. Okay, let me just get this to the next slide. I'm going to do it in. Uh, okay, let's go to uh, slide 19. I'm going to insert this image in there. Then 20, yeah? I just realized that also. It's okay. We don't need so many slides, we just reuse it. Ah, uh, so basically we have this. Uh, the 20,000 is out. So I just open the bracket first. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm just trying to. Uh, yeah, I understand you, but uh, I don't have a calculator with me, so uh, you should help me out. But I just show that how uh, when you open the like this times this, I just want to show a step by step instead of a uh, 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 jump step, jumping step, you know. You know there is a funny thing? Do you know what's the funny thing? 
you have done so much and you still don't get the answer. That's the most crazy thing that can happen, you know. <laughs> okay, then you times it in, then you get uh, 50,000. I think I can simplify this further, which is a, I need the formula. Never mind, let me just get the formula. Oh, did I delete that? The formula sheet, yeah, I think so. I need that so much. Okay, uh, yes, it's still here. So let me get this to 19. Like I say, I'm doing this live with you, so I don't have the answers. Oh, by the way, maybe I have the answer, but I, I don't, I don't know where to get it. I'm really take, taking this as a challenge. But I think some of your teachers, right, what I realize is they have answers to the question. So basically, they just give you the answers from the, 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 the textbook, and then they just feed you with the answer, you know, the kind of thing. Yeah, they don't, they don't do on uh, live, you know. Okay, good. So I have this uh, cosine square a minus sine square a, which is cosine two a. Okay, which is this. This one is going to be half sine to a okay in a way it's theta it's theta so this will give me one quarter oh looks good i think i'm getting there then yep looks good so what's the answer huh? so confused i've done so much forget answer already never mind i will come back to this i will insert the the, the whatever i have here I already get it into a screenshot already. Okay, does it look similar? Yes, exactly. Yeah! Okay, by the way, I really think of this as a huge achievement for me, you know. Because I'm doing this live. You imagine the work, you imagine the, the, the effort and the amount of work I've put in without knowing anything. Yeah, it's like I'm put, I'm put in the sea and I don't know whether there is going to be storm, sharks or whatever. Oh. But anyway, I just keep at it. Just continue. And I get it. Okay? I get it. Wow. It's a huge achievement. Okay? So, I think we should take a break. If not, uh, my brain is going to explode.